Hello. Okay, another one that you can try at home. Uh, really, really simple. All you need this time are some coffee filters. I found these on the bottom shelf in Sainsbury's. So look in the coffee section, but you might have some. You could probably even use kitchen roll. I'll try this with kitchen roll as well. So we can see, they look like this though. Okay, and this was about a pound and you get 40. So you could do it loads of times. Um, I will try it with kitchen roll for you as well though. So you need some coffee filters. You need a felt tip. I couldn't find one for ages. You need to find one that dissolves in water. So that's water soluble. So think of the ones that you'd use for coloring in as a kid stuff that you you know the ones that you can wash out of clothes those types of felt tips are the ones you want you also need a glass of water so this is really really easy you'll probably have done chromatography in your science lessons so this is just a version of that that you can do at home so i'm going to use a black pen because black is actually a mixture of colors when you see black ink it's made of loads of different colors of ink so to separate those colours, draw it on there. Oh, you know what? I'm going to draw it on the other side as well so we can see it properly. So I've just drawn three lines. You could draw any pattern you want. You could draw a little picture. You can use any colour you want, whatever you want. It ends up looking really, really cool. And then you just dip it in the water and we should see all those colours of ink separate. So you can see the water going up. I'm being really careful not to put the ink in the water. You don't want the ink to go in the water because it's just going to be a big mess. Can you see that? Whoa. And you can see the colours in the ink start to separate. And that'll go all the way up the paper. Can you see? I've got like red and blue. And before it was just black. And now I've separated all of the different colours in that black ink. And it's going at the next stripe now. And I'll stop that one because you can see what's happening. But I think that looks pretty cool. So one of the things you could do if you wanted to make this into like a crafty thing is when you could leave that until it's finished and then you could leave it to dry and then you could get a few of them. And if you scrunch them up when they're open, when they're dry, they kind of look like bunches of flowers, which looks really cool. You could give them to your mum or your dad or whoever's at home. Perfect Father's Day present. There you go. Now, I said I'd have a go at it with kitchen roll. So I have got some kitchen roll here. It's really hard to tear off a strip of kitchen roll with one hand. Okay. So there's some kitchen roll. Mm, okay. Right. And let's try and... Do it with this. I don't know if this will work as well, but let's see. Yes, it does. Do you see that? So you still get the chromatography effect even with kitchen roll. So if you haven't got coffee filters, it doesn't matter because you can. It still works. So have a go at that, guys. See um, how many felt tips you've got at home, what kind of patterns you can make. There's that other one going now, looking pretty cool. Looking pretty cool. See what kind of patterns you can make. There you go, there's the kitchen roll one. See if you can find any other different materials that work with chromatography. But one thing that you've got to do before you do this is ask if it's okay. If you don't have to ask if it's okay, definitely shouldn't do it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.